So much comes to the mind, my brothers and sisters, we are guilty. We need to learn to cover. We need to learn to cover correctly. I want to also address the issue of the trousers today. Please, let's wear trousers. It should be called a trouser, inshallah. You know, not something whereby you go into sujood and the man behind you doesn't know whether to go into sujood or to finish his salah there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. It's happening and it's happening more. Yesterday, here in Cape Town, I saw someone, I presume he wasn't a Muslim, and look, they are free to dress how they wish. And I saw him literally with his underpants, they were on, but his pants were below his backside, well below his backside. And I was shocked. I couldn't tell anyone, did you see that? They would tell me, what were you doing looking there? <laughs> but I couldn't help but notice that this is where the condition has gone. My brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, we are living in a community and a country that permits you to wear whatever you want to wear. So as a Muslim, you wear what you are supposed to wear and leave the others to do what they have to. You do what you have to, leave them to do what they have to. You don't have to get upset and angry and excited. Consider yourself. You are living in a country that permits people to wear what they want. Because of that rule, you are actually allowed to dress in whatever way you wish. So if you did not like that rule, then perhaps they might not allow you to cover in the same way that they are doing that in other countries. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us appreciate the freedom in our countries. There are countries that claim to boast freedom, but using the word freedom, they are taking away the freedom of people to actually cover themselves. So therefore, I am telling you, you do what you're supposed to. Let the others do what they want to, whatever they have to. It's okay. Those in authority have permitted them to do that. You're a Muslim, you need to know you are governed by a modest dress code. And the term modesty is interpreted differently by different religions and different inclinations. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to understand the meaning of modesty according to us and to fulfill it in the best possible way. Amin. So while we are fulfilling our own duty, we are allowing the others their right to fulfill whatever they believe is correct because we are living in a free nation. Let's understand this, never misunderstand it.